Um, I'm going to stand a little bit this way because John and Rachel, you can wave your arms if I'm talking for too long. Um, I can sometimes get, get rolling. Uh, so I am the chair of the finance committee for the vestry and um, with about half of the vestry who also serve on that committee, we've been working on the budget for next year. And what I don't want to do here this morning is sit and talk about a bunch of numbers. Um, so what I would like to do this morning is I'd like to talk about what especially I personally feel we as a congregation are called to do during the season of stewardship this year. And what I'd like to speak about is investing in people. Uh, John spoke very eloquently about the beauty of this church and we have over the last several years spent a great deal of time and effort investing in securing this building and there's more work to do there. But a church is more than just a building. In fact, a church can exist without a building. Uh, what a church can't exist without is people. Those of you who are with us this morning online, those of you who are here with me and everyone else inside the sanctuary, and uh, those of us who simply think about the church during the course of our everyday lives. The congregation here is a wonderful congregation and have given generously for many years. And we stand on the shoulders of those who came before us and gave generously even 150, 160 years ago. But there's something else that's very important at this church, and that is our staff, the people who help us when we aren't here to still be a church. And so, of course, every week we see John and Rachel, and we're very fortunate now, um, coming out of the pandemic, we've seen Ben so much, uh, and Ben is still here, but he's joined now by Donald, who accepted a call to come here and be the director of music this summer. Uh, there's a wonderful choir who sing for us every week. Gail, Carl, Franny, Andy, Allison, Kate, Samuel, John, Titus, Ellen, Amy, and Kelly. And that's an incredible part of our worship. And they're here, and they've been here. They came here when we could not come here, during those times that it was dangerous. Demetrius, who we see every Sunday, a smiling, wonderful presence, and is here during the week. And Daniel, who's recently been called to help us with the virtual worship, and is going to be doing incredible things. And I, and I don't want to oversell him, but if you're watching online, just wait. <laughs> um, and then there are the people we don't see every week. Fatima Lane, who's the Director of Operations and has done incredible things to do much of the work we see happening here. Sarah, who was sitting and helping us with our virtual uh, worship and is now doing communications. And Ella, who helps assist with all the other groups that use our space for important work. I've talked for a little while and I'm going to wrap it up now, but I had to mention all those people by name because John and Rachel especially and with the help of the various committees who found people to fill these roles, we have created an incredible staff here, whether they're musicians, helpers, uh, tech gurus, and we need to invest in those people to stay, to be cared for in the way that we care for each other as a congregation. And um, that is one of the big focuses and one of the things you'll hear about, I think, in the budget this year. And so I just ask you, when you do make your stewardship contribution this year, uh, one, think about the ways in which you can make that contribution throughout the year as your circumstances change, perhaps you could give more. And I'll go back to the reading I happened to read this morning and this jumped out at me. Let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds. And John spoke about Mr. Rogers and being the helpers. So I would just ask us all to consider how we can be the helpers and provoke one another to good deeds, and especially to invest in the people who make everything so possible here at the church. Thanks.